Hey class, Mike here. Uh, I wanted to quickly show you some things that uh, I think I'm going to do uh, pretty quickly in the first class um, so that you can you know, watch them more slowly if you wanted to see what I was doing, uh, get a tech, you know, sort of a second look at what's going on in Excel um, when we kind of do some simple uh, descriptive statistics. So uh, what I have here, and this should, I'm going to post this same spreadsheet uh, online so you can do this along with me. It shouldn't take too long, just a couple of minutes. So I've just made up some numbers here for the number of hours spent uh, preparing for the first class. So each of these uh, numbers is uh, was given to me, let's just pretend, uh, by the students in the class, you guys. Uh, uh, you told me how many hours you spent preparing for my first class because I, I just, I know that you spent like practically all week preparing for the first class and I gave you gobs and gobs of stuff to uh, watch and look at and stuff so uh, anyway so what I want to know is sort of the uh, first of all I'm not really sure how many students I have I want to know the total number of hours give me the average hours uh, the median hours and then the mode hours right so uh, the number of students so I actually just want to count how many uh, students that are here so let's do that. So that's just with a statement called count, right? So I can say equals count. Um, and there it is. So when you start typing, this is uh, 2010, 2007 does the same thing. Um, gives you sort of different options of what you if you what you can do. We're just going to do count. Uh, we're also going to do count if in a second, but it gives you a description of what's going to happen. So this is kind of nice. So it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So that's exactly what we want. Um, so then we need to put what we want it to count. So we can use the mouse over here and drag it down uh, and get them all like that. Uh, or we could actually type in this, right? So this is a cell reference. So that means it starts at A2. Oh, Joel is emailing me. Oh, thanks, Joel. Uh, A2 to A31, right? So that's basically what we've done here. Uh, or, yeah, like I said, or you could type that in there. Uh, you could uh, also sort of use your keyboard, so you just sort of use your uh, arrow keys to get over here. And then if you hold the shift button down, it'll uh, it'll allow you to sort of uh, lock in the first cell and kind of go down to the last cell. So that's nice. So the last little trick you can do that I use all the time is if you hold the shift button down and the control button, then it will go and then push down or over or up or whatever. It'll, it will go to the, the most extreme, which means it'll go all the way to the last until there's nothing else there. So let me show you that one more time. So shift control down, right? Uh, we'll we'll we'll, ca uh, we'll capture that uh, everything that has a number in it, right? So let's try that. So there's 30 students, cool. So the next one is the total number of hours. So instead of counting these, we want to actually sum them up, right? So I want to th uh, to, to add them all together, all right? So I could just go like this one plus this one plus this one, you know. But this could take a really long time. Uh, and we don't like to take a long time, so we're just going to say sum, right? So that's the the sum function. Sum just means add, right? Add everything together. So let's just try that sum. So again, sum. There's a whole bunch of things we can do. Sum. So we're just going to do regular sum though. Uh, same thing. Control Shift down, and I got it. So we have 41.5 hours, 30 students. So average hours, right? So since I have these two pieces of information. I can actually figure out the average hours pretty easily, right? So I know that I have 30 students, uh, and of those 30 students, there was 414.5 uh, total hours. So if I just take uh, the total number of students, sorry, the total hours divided by the total number of students, I have the average hours is 13 hours, 13.8 hours. So that's one way to do it. Now, if you didn't do these two things, there's another way we could do it. We'll just do it right next to it. We'll say we could type in average. So, you know, I call this average hours. Really, in class, we're calling this mean hours, right? This is really, uh, to be technical, what, what, what I'm really after is mean hours. So I'll probably have that changed when I put it in, uh, uh, when I save it and put it in Sakai for you. But, uh, unfortunately, if you type in mean, there's nothing there, right? So I typed in mean, and if nothing shows up, that means there's no such formula called mean. So, like, if I type something in here, it's going to say, I don't know what mean means. So if you see this error, it means you uh, came, came up with something that it doesn't know what it means, uh, that, that it doesn't have a formula for. So instead, it's called average. Right, which makes sense, because that's... Uh, 
what we're used to calling this, uh, what we call mean, we've always called it average. So it works just the same as the other ones. Let's just see, oh, it's the same answer, beautiful. So it does the same thing. So it actually goes through, it does the same thing, it counts how many observations and, and sums them all and then does the division for you. So that's cool. So remember the median uh, is the one that's in the middle. Um, so let's do the same thing, we can just type in median. Uh, so 12 is the median. We're going to sort of confirm that in just one second. And then this last one, this is kind of new. Um, since 2007, I think, is to have a mode. Before that, I don't think before that there's probably no mode formula. But again, the mode is going to count uh, the one that's most, that happens the most frequent. So 12. So let's confirm this median and mode, make sure it's right. So how we do that? Well, we can actually sort this numbers. Right, pretty easily to make sure that uh, they're in the right order. So we go to the home uh, ribbon. Uh, over here we see under editing, there's sort and filter. If we click this, we say sort A to Z. Uh, then it'll sort from smallest to biggest. Right, so the smallest is zero. Somebody prepared zero hours. What? 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 <sighs> anyway, uh, and then the most was 57. Nice. Nice. Okay. So if we know there's 30, then somewhere around 15 is the median. So let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's a bunch of 12s. So the median is right. Right, so it's in the 15. So the mode is the one that happens the most. You know, we could probably do a better way to figure out, uh, but we could sort of eyeball this and say, yeah, there's a bunch of 12s doesn't look like there's as many of anything else, right? So we're going to say, yeah, that's right. So these numbers are all good. Cool. So hopefully that helped. Uh, again, you know, if I went over something fast, go back and replay it. Watch it again. Make sure you can do all of this by yourself. This is pretty simple. Um, if you can't do all this by yourself, uh, you know, make sure you find some help from either me or one of your other classmates. So a little bit, uh, some advanced stuff. We're going to go on to the next tab called count if. Sum if, average if. So now I've added a new uh, a new column here called branch, and all I have is navy or other, right? And so I made this numbers up. I think something like 75% of this uh, are navy, and the other percent are other. So I want to know the number of students that are navy. So you know I can't just do a count uh, because that might not capture everybody, or well, because I have these all mixed together, right? So I could sort these, and then I could probably do it pretty easily. But I wanted to show you this, ca this formula called count uh, if. Uh, and it says it counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition. So that's what I want. I want to count you know, all of these that, m that are navy over here. Or count all of these that are navy. That will also work. So it has two, uh, two criteria. So the first one is a range and then the criteria, which means what is it you want to actually count. So the range is going to be all of these guys. Right, so everything over here. And then the criteria is just navy. So I wrote navy down up here. Click that guy. Close the bracket, hit enter. So 24 navy. So how do I do other? Well, I can do the same thing. So the beauty of Excel, though, is that I can copy this guy, right? Control C, and then paste it over here. Except for that, I have to do a few things before I do that. I have to lock these cells A2 into A31 uh, to make sure that that when I copy it, it doesn't get moved over. So let me tell you what I mean. So if I copy this right now and move it over, uh, you know, all it did was actually move everything over. Right? So it moved the navy to other, which is what we want. But it moved all of this guys over to here. Well, there's nobody over here that's other. There's nobody over here that's navy. So I get a zero. So that's not right. So how do I make sure that that doesn't move over? Well, I put these little dollar signs around it, right? Uh, which makes it fixed. So I can either put like manually put dollar signs in between uh, all of these, right? So that works. Uh, or I can put the F4 button, which does the same thing. So the F4 button is easy for me to remember because it's r it is right above the number four. It has the number four in it, and the number four is also the dollar sign button. Uh, and the dollar sign helps me remember that I want it to be fixed because uh, I want to keep my dollars. Right? I want to keep them in my wallet. I don't want to move over to the next guy. So that's my little way of remembering. You know, how do I keep things fixed? And we're going to do this over and over in class, but. So quickly, that's how that's done. So if you don't catch it the first time, don't worry, we're going to be doing this a lot. 
So now if I paste it, let's see what happens. So this stays the same, it doesn't get moved over, but this little guy, the green one, does move over, which is exactly what we wanted. It wasn't navy and now it's over at other. So beautiful. So total hours, we're going to do this sum. Also there's a sum if statement. So now I want to know the total number of hours uh, that spent by the navy and the total number of hours spent by the other people, right? Uh, by the other branches. So again, this one's a little different. First I need a range and a criteria, and then it wants me to know which, uh, which range do you want to actually sum. So these two ranges have to be right next to each other, the regular range and then the sum range, and the, which they are in our case. So let me show you what I mean. So here's the range of our criteria. Again, we want to lock those because we're going to paste it over. Uh, and now the criteria, whoops, let's try it again, sum if Here's our range. I'm going to hit F4 and it'll lock it in. The criteria is navy. I'm just going to click the cell right here instead of typing it in because I don't want to keep typing it in over again. And then the sum range is these numbers right here because these are the hours, right? So now if I hit I enter, I have that number, 334.5. Um, let's see, did I do that right? Nope. See, now let me show you what I did. I forgot to lock these cells. All right, so I locked these uh, these blue guys, but I didn't lock the uh, the pinky purple guys. And so when it moved over, it moved over to here. That's not what I wanted to do, right? So let's just uh, yeah, let's just delete this guy. Check, uh, make a fix in this instead of redoing it. It's easier to just hit F4 under these two uh, the two ranges. Now we're talking. So now we're good. So the last one uh, we can do. There's also an average if. Whoops, average. Right there, average if. Uh, same thing. So first we have to figure out the uh, the range. I'm gonna hit F4. I'm gonna. Oops, didn't like that one. Let's make sure these stay the same, so that they, they stay fixed. The criteria is gonna be that guy, and then the average range is gonna be these numbers. All right. Close that off. Let's see how this works out. Oh, the Navy has an average of 14.35. The other is 11. Okay, so very good. So that's all. Hopefully this video helped a little bit. Um, so that's it. Thanks.